Hello and welcome to another episode of Nonstop F-Stop. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kenco three-piece um, macro extension tubes. This is the kind that will actually allow your electronics, your lens to communicate with the camera. The three pieces are the 13 millimeter, the 20 millimeter, and the 36 millimeter. You can use them individually or stacked together in any sequence that you desire. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to use the 5D Mark III and the Canon L-Series 17 to 40 lens, and we're going to be shooting some algae um, from this lake. They release by pressing the button on the coinciding ring, twist off just like a lens, and then you either put it on the lens itself, line up the red dots, and then install it just like you would a lens onto your camera. We're going to be shooting this little piece of wood at 40 millimeters. One thing you have to remember is as soon as you stick a tube on, the the amount, the distance that the light has to travel from the entrance of the lens to the sensor increases, so it increases your um, technical f-stop. The numbers will stay the same on your camera, but it does increase the f-stop of the lens. So it uh, does, it reduces the amount of light that comes in, so you're gonna have to raise one of the three. We're gonna have to, you're gonna have to adjust one of the three, shutter speed, aperture, ISO to compensate. So as of right now, at 40 millimeters, and it seems like we're about five inches away in getting our focus. We're at shutter speed of 125th, aperture of eight, ISO of 640. All right, that looks pretty decent. Now let's move up to uh, just the 20 millimeter. It's very cumbersome. I'm not even really sure how you would do this realistically without just choosing the one you're, you want prior to installation. Because you want your, your camera open to el the elements as little as possible. All right, it looks like we're about three inches to get our focus. And it is allowing the camera to focus itself. All right, that's pretty decent. So let's try it with just the, I think it's a 36. Yeah, it's a 36 millimeter. Okay, this one we're probably gonna have to take the lens hood off because we're gonna have to get so close. All right, this is allowing me to get about, I'd say two inches from it. And the camera can't quite decide focus, so I'm probably going to turn this one on to manual focus. That looks pretty decent. Okay, so um, with these results, you're obviously not going to be able to stack all of these with this lens. Uh, one of the things about stacking these is you have to put them on a longer focal length to get your desired um, distance from your object because the wider the lens, the less of a millimeter, the, the shorter one of these tubes you're gonna want or need to get closer. The wider the lens, the less of an extension tube do you need to get closer. The longer the lens, the more extension tubes you need to get closer. So, like on a 70 to 200, you would just take uh, all of these, stack them together, and then you would get pretty close. Uh, but if you want to get really, really close, get a wide lens like a 14 or a 17, you're pretty much burying that lens in the dirt or the moss or algae or whatever you're trying to take a picture of, the flower. I mean, you pretty much put the flower right on the front optics of that lens and get a picture of it and you'll be totally in focus. Now one of the things is, is that it, it, the depth of field, your depth of field gets very, very shallow when you put an extension tube on, especially like uh, one like this 36, or if you stack them, your depth of field, even at high apertures are gonna be very, very small. All right, so in overall, I would give this a rating of eight because they're not built like fully metal. They're not the best quality, but they're really great for the 
money that you're going to spend for them. They're about $42 on eBay or Amazon, any place that would sell uh, camera equipment like this. And they're Kinko, so Kinko's a really great brand. Um, obviously, you're going to spend a bit more for a Canon. Uh, but the user friendliness, I would give it a rating of 10 because it's just like mounting it, uh, a camera to a lens or a lens to a camera. It's just you're sticking something between the lens and the camera. And um, you really can't get much simpler than that. So I would say that everybody really should have one of these if you're going to do any kind of macro photography and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a macro lens. Obviously, they're not, they're not going to do as great a job as a dedicated macro lens. But for $42, you can beat it. All right, so that's it for this episode of Nonstop F-Stop. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe our videos because you never know what we're going to do next.